In the previous lesson, we calculated the trajectory of a ball fired from the ground. It reaches a maximum height, and then it comes back down to the ground again. And that's where the calculation stopped. But we know that's not what really happens. The ball is going to bounce. The bounce velocity is equal to the incoming velocity times something called the coefficient of restitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by copying the last code and pasting it into a new script. We'll define a variable called e, which is the coefficient of restitution. If e equals 1, the ball bounces back up to the original height. If e equals 0, the ball doesn't bounce at all. For real materials, the value of e is between 1 and 0. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that original loop and see what happens. So we copy it, we paste it, and then we save the script. We'll call this Lesson 3a. And here's the result of Lesson 3a. Now this doesn't look any different from the previous run. What's going on here is we've actually got two traces, one on top of the other, so we need to make a couple of small changes. The first thing we need to do is to say that ui is equal to ui times the coefficient of restitution, and the second thing we need to do is to reset the time. So we'll save that, and that's our new run. So the bounce height now works, we are getting, it is smaller than it was before, but we've also moved the x values back to zero. We need to record the x value at the end of the first loop. So we'll say that x ref is equal to x of end, which is the end of the previous loop. And we'll add x ref to our x values and run that. And now we have the throw and the first bounce. Now let's look at the, the code. This loop is identical to this loop apart from the x ref and this initialization block is also the same apart from the, the x ref, the ui and the resetting the time. So let's copy that block and paste it here X end in this block is going to be zero because that's what we've set there. We've defined the time here, but we're not going to need that now, are we? So that can come out because we've set the time here. Um, and the first loop needs u of y to be divided by e so that when it's multiplied by e here, we get back to u of y. What we'll do is we'll move the coefficient of restitution there and then u of y is going to be 15 divided by e. And then finally we need to add x ref. Now that means that the two blocks are the same. Let's just check they still work. Yep, they look identical to the way they did before. So now we've got two blocks of code that are identical, but the values change. And that's the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we will nest these loops so that we can see what happens as the ball continues to bounce. <laughs>